Here's a Chinese RFID reader writer. Here's a Kyber crystal. And if I hold it to the left of these uh, three holes here on the back, it should read it. And if I hold it anywhere else, it won't read it. Well, it just made a liar out of me. See, it's very finicky. So already I don't like it because of how finicky this is. It's got to be at just the right position to read it. But now we'll try and write a number to it. So 3073, let's go up one. Put it over here, try to write. Right failure. Right failure. I'm going to keep trying it a few more times. Right I'm going to spin the crystal as I do right it. Failure. See if I can find that sweet spot. Right failure. Right failure. Right failure. Right failure. Right failure. This will not write to the type of RFID tag that is in a Kyber crystal. It'll read it fine, it just won't write to it. However, if we take these T5577 tags, right writes to it just fine. There's a problem. Here's another reader. Read See, it reads 3074, which is what I wanted to program this to. Let's try and change it to... Please enter 3075. It's going to fail. Right failure. The reason it fails is because this is now password protected. The password is being set by this. Don't know what the password is. I can still change the value on this tag, but I have to only use, or I can only use this device now. I can't use any other device to change the password that's on this tag, or, or the value on this tag. Now we'll use this one to change the value on the crystal. Miss Far I see card. Read failure. I did want read success. Card number is three zero. Please enter the three zero seven four. Right success. And we can come over here and confirm this. So the write operation is successful with this device, but not this device when it comes to a Kyber crystal. Now, before I forget, please enter the three zero seven three because I like to write success because I like to keep the crystals with the original IDs on them that they came with. That's just me. Feel free to change your own. Anyways, the point of this video is that this device will not write to Kyber crystals. It will read it, but not write to it. It will write to the tags that come with it, the T5577 tags. But it puts a password on them, so other devices cannot write to them. Other devices can read them, just not write to them. So if you're looking for an RFID writer uh, for Kyber crystals, specifically to change the value on these, don't get this. This won't work. Get one of these, or better yet, a Proxmark 3 Easy, which you can find on Amazon and eBay, uh, AliExpress, all sorts of places. Just go and search for them. You'll probably have to pay around 50, 60 bucks for it. Depends on what link you find. Uh, but they are m infinitely better than either of these.